How's it going? Greg here, professionally trained, officially certified, and FDA approved reptile hunter. Now, we go on the search for reptiles that are in danger. We bring them back to safety in our reptile reserve. So, come along with me and my cameraman, Dan, as we go on the hunt for reptiles. Reptile Hunter, saving reptiles since 2019. All right, another day, another hunt. Here we are in the country of Burma, home to the albino Burmese python. Now, word on the street is there's a python out here that needs some help. Supposedly, he's been backed up and he has something stuck in his belly. So we gotta go help him out and bring him back to the reserve. Now, Dan, here's the deal. Snakes give me the heebie-jeebie, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Albino Burmese pythons are actually extremely rare. Only one in every 10,000 pythons are albino, which means there's no color in its skin. Completely, completely White. Something interesting too, it's actually the second largest snake on the planet, which is funny because we're having trouble finding it. But lucky for us, we got a brand new piece of technology. The all new Thermo 3000 Heat Vision Goggles. Infrared Ocular Enhancement. Brought to you by I Care For You. And we want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, I Care For You. Thanks for all you do for us without you. Now, these are infrared goggles, meaning they read heat. So, through the bushes and through the trees, these goggles we'll be able to detect heat and have us find this python and bring him back to safety. We gotta be very, very careful though. A python can fit something 10 times the size of its own head inside of its mouth. Hopefully we don't qualify. Come on, Dan. All right. We gotta be very, very quiet. We just got a vision of the albino Burmese python with our infrared goggles, and we could see using the goggles that she's bigger than we thought. It's a big female. We're gonna need backup, but in the meantime, we gotta lay low. Now here's the deal. Female Burmese pythons, mothers can lay up to 60 to 70 eggs at a time. Once they lay the eggs, they wrap themselves around the eggs to keep them warm. That's dedication. But here's the deal, once they hatch, she leaves them out on their own. That's pretty tough, that's cold-blooded. It makes me thankful for my mom. I love you, mama. Now, but we gotta be- Dan, I think I'm getting a reading. We're getting infrared heat. It's heat. Dan! Dan, come here. Closer. The albino Burmese python, in all of its glory. We don't even need our goggles anymore. He's beautiful. Dan, wow, we gotta get it back to the reptile reserve. Dan, it's bigger than I thought. No wonder the goggles were getting a read. So we're gonna make sure his tummy aches all right and get him back to the reserve. I'm gonna need some backup, Dan, come on. So we made it all the way back from Burma. We're back at the reptile reserve. We did a little bit of research. We found out that our friend Sunshine here just had a little bit of a tummy ache. So we gave her some medicine and she's feeling a lot better. Look at, she's already moving around and just really checking out the reptile reserve. I think she likes it here. We gotta get her back to the wild. And you know what? I was thinking, why are so many people afraid of snakes? Snakes like sunshine are actually really nice. I think it goes all the way back to the Garden of Eden. And I actually have some notes in my field notes about it. So I'm gonna go put sunshine away and let's talk about it. Come on, sunshine. So we got Sunshine away, she's hanging out with her friends, and I was looking more at my field notes, and I was reading more about Adam and Eve. And actually, during their time, they lived peacefully with all the different animals, but Satan took the form of a serpent, and he tempted Eve to eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And even though God told her not to, Eve gave in to temptation and disobeyed God's commandment. And she convinced Adam to do the same thing. Because of Adam and Eve's decision, they were banished from the Garden of Eden. Sin entered the world, and it didn't just change them, it changed everything. Sin entered the world because they disobeyed God's direct command. But how often do we do things that we know we're wrong? And as sad as that might make us feel, or as unfair as it might seem, the truth 
truth is, we aren't any better than Adam and Eve. But here's the good news. God didn't stop loving Adam and Eve, even after he banished them from the Garden of Eden. God still had a plan for their lives. In fact, they were the beginning of his plan for all of humanity. That includes people like you and me all these years later. So, what was the plan? God sent his son Jesus Christ to die for our sins, so that we might be forgiven. By putting our faith in him, our sins can be forgiven and we can begin a new life. Now, if you've never asked Jesus to forgive you of your sins, then you can do that today in a minute with your leader. Guys, we've all sinned, but God loves you and wants you to become a part of his family. And we can do that by asking him to forgive us of our sins. And just like sin separated Adam and Eve from God, today our sins are what keep us from God too. God wants to forgive us so we can spend forever with him one day in heaven. But hey, that does it for us over here at the Reptile Reserve. Dan? Okay, yes, we're coming. All right. There's a gecko in danger. We need to move now. We'll see you guys next week. Dan, let's go. Reptile Hunter. Saving reptiles since 2019.